guys! I am so happy you guys could join me today. Today, we have this awesome bluey Easter fun book. This is a craft book that has a whole bunch of fun ideas and craft stuff that you guys can do at home and around your yard to play and get ready for Easter. It even includes an Easter basket cutout. Oh, I'm excited to see what that is. Let's check this book out. This first page has a picture of Bluey that you could color in if you wanted. That looks awesome. The holidays are here and the Easter Bunny is around the corner. Oh, wait a second. It's just the big blue guy. You're not kicking back in your relaxing chair, are you? Inside this book, there are lots of fun things to do. Cutting and making, drawing, coloring, and even ideas for outdoor activities. Wait, just give us a second to flick through and make sure this is true. Okay, we're back. Yeah, we've checked. This book is definitely filled with some great activities. Some you can do by yourself, but ask a grown-ups for help with the cutting activities. Ready for the first activity? Let's go! The first page has an Easter treasure hunt. This is a treasure hunt that you can go outside with and see if you can find these things in your garden or in your backyard. There is a rock, a big leaf, something spiky, something to climb on, and a feather to go tickling with. That looks like lots of fun. We'll have to bring that outside later. Oh, there's some more things on this page. A bit of rubbish. Hopefully there's no rubbish outside, but if there is, it's always a good idea to pick it up and put it in the garbage. A garden gnome and something with legs. Could be a chair or a table. That looks like a lot of fun. Now with the stuff outside, you could paint a face on the rock you find. It could be a character from Bluey or just a funny face. Here's another idea. You could make a bluey Easter Explorer badge and wear it proudly. That's a great idea. You could also get your friends and family together and see who can find all these items first. And if you have a lot of people, you could do it in teams. Ask a grown-up to be the judge or they can time you. And the last idea here to use with what we find outside, we can use the leaf and any other nature items we find to make some rubbings. To do this, you'll need a pencil and paper. And then what you do is you put the leaf down, color it lightly across the top with a pen or a pencil or a crayon, and then you're gonna see the shapes of the leaf start to come through, and it makes a beautiful piece of art. Bob Bilby loves spending time with his friends. Create the Bob Bilby mask and take some photos of all the fun times you have. So here what we're gonna have to do is cut out this picture. We're gonna need some glue and some tape, two pieces of ribbon or string. So we're gonna cut this out in a little bit and we're gonna make a mask. That sounds like a lot of fun. Here we have a join the dots or don't. We're not forcing you. You could even draw some crazy hair on bingo if you want. But I think for us, we're going to connect the dots. Let me get a pen, I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I've got this marker. So first thing we wanna do is start with number one. And we just wanna go along until we see all the numbers and we just connect them. 14, 15, 16, 17. I love connecting the dots. Oh, uh-oh. Did you guys see what just happened out here? I made a boo-boo. Let's go back. So from 19, I went to 25. I should have went to 20. Let's go back here to 20 and continue. 21, 22, 23, 24, and then I can go to 25 and continue on this way. That's okay, mistakes happen. And we can just go back, fix our mistake and continue. Good job. Bingo is coming along really nicely here. I love how this is starting. Uh-oh, 
I made another mistake. Good thing mistakes happen. I gotta go back to 43 and go to 44, then 45, and then 46, 47, 48. Man, there's a lot of numbers in this one, but we're done. And now we made bingo. Let's look over here. On this page, we can color the eggs. All right, squids, it's time to have some fun with patterns. Color these eggs and create your own design too. So here, we've got eggs with stripes, stars, wiggly lines, polka dots and wiggly lines, stripes and squiggles. What pattern should I do over here? <gasps> I'm going to do some swirlies because I like swirly Easter eggs. Do you guys like my swirlies? Woo! These are fun to draw. And a few little ones. They kind of look like the letter G. I really like my swirly egg. What do you guys think? Now, we can also color these when we color our bingo page. But for now, let's see what's on the next page. Ooh, check out this page, guys. Missing Chattermax. Chattermax has gone haywire again. He's lost somewhere in the back garden. Help Bluey and Bingo find their really definitely not annoying at all friend and bring him home. Okay, so he's down here. Need my marker again. And we're gonna start up here with Bingo and Bluey and we're gonna see if we can get down here to the Chattermax. So, which way do you think we wanna go? This way or this way? Left or right? Let's go right. Let's go over here and maybe down the, oh, nope, we can't go that way. We hit a ball. Let's go back up where we came from this way and go around the corner, around again. Oh no, we're slipping on a banana. Nope, let's go back this way and go around the banana. I see Mrs. Ladybug over here and I'm not going down that way because I know that is not the way to get to the Chattermax. Let's go back here. I think I can go around Mr. Bird. I'm not going near the ball again because the ball we went to last time and got stuck. This time we're gonna go around the corner. We're not gonna go to the pine cone. Oop. We're gonna go down here and I can already see you, Chattermax. We're almost there. Woo! And we found the Chattermax. Good job, guys. That was a lot of fun. Over here on our next page, we have eggy friends. So we have Bluey and Bingo's friends' faces on these egg shapes. So we can draw them on the eggs. I think I'm gonna draw a funny face on Chloe. I'm gonna draw a big nose and a smile. Doesn't Chloe look funny? That is a weird Chloe face. Let's try Honey. Honey, I'm gonna draw some big eyes. Honey's a little tired, so we're gonna draw like that. And then a big smile and a little dog nose. Maybe some eyelashes on Honey. Honey looks a little bit silly. Okay, let's try Rusty now. Let's draw some eyes on Rusty, maybe a big pointy nose, and let's do a half smile on Rusty. Oh, I like that one. Coco up here, we're gonna draw some nice eyelashes on Coco some at the bottom too, a little nose, and a smile. Coco looks weird. Okay, let's try one more. Let's try up here, let's do Snickers. 
Snickers, we're gonna draw some nice eyes on Snickers. Maybe an eyelash or two. And we're gonna draw a cute little nose on Snickers. And a nice cute smile. And some dimples. Snickers looks cute. Ooh, here we've got Bandit's Easter jokes. What do aliens eat? Extraterrestrial omelets. Well, that's a good one. How does the Easter Bunny keep his fur nice and neat? With hairspray. Get it? Hair like rabbit hairspray? That was a good one. How do you greet the Easter Bunny? Happy to meet you. What type of ring does the Easter Bunny wear? 14 karat gold. And what did the Easter egg say to the other? I like you chocolate. Those were great jokes, Bandit. Over here, you can create your own Easter garden. See if there are any extra plants or flowers at your house that you can use to create your own garden. Ask a grown-up to help you choose the plants to use. Put some soil and the plants in a large pot or maybe several pots and water your garden regularly. Maybe some fairies or gnomes will even move in. That's a good idea that I think we'll do when the weather gets a little bit nicer in the spring. I'm looking forward to nicer weather, aren't you guys? And the last page here is a hide and seek page. There are 10 Easter eggs hiding in the playroom. Can you find them? Come on boys and girls, let's see if we can find these eggs. Right away I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh-oh, we're missing one egg. Can you guys spot it anywhere? There it is, number 10. We found 10 Easter eggs in this picture. And I had a lot of fun going through this bluey Easter egg fun activity book. We had lots of fun and there are lots of great activities in here that we're gonna come back and do another day. So stay tuned for that. You don't wanna miss that video. I'll see you guys soon.